Men like Mike Kinder, who work at great heights, say it doesn't worry them. But when they've topped out a structure like this, they always hold a party to blow off a bit of steam. But the town and its aerials are only part of a television transmitting station. And while the new tower was being built, the service carried on. The transmitters can't start in the morning till the cabinet doors are closed. And every morning, too, in the company studios, rehearsals go on for the evening's programme. It's a thriving business enterprise, awaiting to go public at the very earliest convenience. Yeah, now you come to mention it, it does look like an early public convenience. What's that? It's scaffolding. I didn't think it was a scale model of Raquel Welch, Fred. This is the control room at Emily. Day in, day out since 1956, apart from four days after the disaster, it has been sending out pictures over most of Yorkshire. Nowadays, Emily and its staff are responsible for about 30 other transmitters, both television and radio. They report electronically to Emily, and it is here that the day's television begins. Programmes come from the studios, and the signals pass through this control room down these cables. To the local post office tower, and onto these dishes at Emily. The transmitters boost the signals and send them to your home. <laughs> Independent broadcasting in Britain is complicated. This is Tommy Cooper in a program for Thames Television in London. But you could see this program anywhere in Britain. Other major network programs come from ATV, Granada, London Weekend Television and Yorkshire Television. Between them, these five major companies provide most of the programmes you see wherever you live. <laughs> and there is independent television news, owned by all the companies together, providing national and international news seven days a week. The programmes cover every kind of subject, from the arts, like this film of Venice, to pop concerts and do-it-yourself. As well as the five major companies, there are HTV and Scottish, Southern, Anglia and Tyne Tees, Westwood and Ulster, Grampian, Border, and even Tiny Channel in Guernsey and Jersey. All these companies contribute to the national programmes as well as serving their local audiences. These companies, and the local radio companies as well, are under contract to the Independent Broadcasting Authority. As well as awarding the contract, the IBA controls programme policy, supervises the advertising, and transmits the programmes to you, the public. The story of Emily Moore is the story of only one IBA station. This concrete lighthouse may be unique, but it is only one of hundreds of transmitters which the Authority and the BBC are building for you. British radio and television is often said to be the best in the world. You receive the programmes, Behind them lies the work of the IBA and all the engineers. 